Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, it's a little bit cooler this morning, about 52 degrees, and uh, we got to get back to it this morning. The wind is blowing, but uh, we're going to continue getting the cultivator ready, and we're going to see how the day goes. That's been charging all night. I know y'all remember Monday how I got the grease in the disc and that joker died not even halfway through greasing it. So we're gonna see if I can get the entire cultivator grease since it's been charging overnight. That will definitely tell whether or not that battery is any good or not. So we are we're gonna get the grease in you guys. Wait a minute. Did we not change the tool to grease the other day? Don't tell me somebody done used it and emptied it out already. Let's try this now. Okay, that sounds more like it. Here it comes. And yes, you guys, that's grease that's gotten dirty around there. That's why it looks like that. No worries. <laughs> so we're gonna continue to grease up. All right, you guys, so I got it greased up. I counted about 50 total. That's wheel bearings and all. But there are four grease fittings here where it folds up that I can't get to. So I will have to get those greased up after I put some air in the tires back there on the tandem axle. And I seen two more sweeps that I got to change too while I was under there. So I'm going to continue to work on it, you guys. Let's see how much air it has in it. You can definitely look at it and tell that it's slack. I think we usually run maybe about 30 or 35 in here. Oh my goodness. That's about 10. Yeah. Let me do that again. <sighs> yes, she's slack. So we're going to put some air in it, you guys. Let's see where that's at now. Oh, that's almost on the money, you guys. That was actually at 35. I had to check it, pull it out um, to see exactly where it's at. Let me see uh, how much air is supposed to go in here. Actually, is that it there? Oh, 64 PSI. Hmm, maybe I'll take it to 40 then. <laughs> we normally run 35. That joke could say 64, okay. Alrighty, we're gonna put some more in there then. Take it to 40. 40 should be good. Uh, that's probably close. Let's see where that's at. Okay, my 41. We're gonna let that. We're gonna let that rock. That's sort of standing off the ground. Pretty good. I'm gonna check the other ones though. Make sure that they're good as well. So I've been checking these tires and most of them have been saying 35, 35 PSI. That's what I'm used to seeing on these farm implement tires. But anyway, we got them right, you guys. We got them right. Now I got to find those sweeps that I got to change. <laughs> Guess it's been a while since that one's been off. Most of them hadn't struggled like that. never seen one wear like that before off with the old on with the new and we're done you guys I said we were done didn't I I was talking about with the sweeps I got it folded up now and so I still got the four grease fittings here that I gotta get greased up and then we'll be done 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 for real done <laughs> of course you know it had to run out of grease on the second to last fitting oh how typical <laughs> let me get it changed out just got the last one greased up you guys and guess what the battery lasted so I guess the battery is still good maybe it didn't have enough charge the other day but anyway we're done 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 for real this time now <laughs> Now that we're done done, we gotta run run and pick up some seeds, you guys. Sly! 
<laughs> Getting her loaded up, my bolt bag, you guys. And we're good to go. We actually gonna have to get three more bags though, so this is just the first one for today. Gotta get it unloaded. I should have brought some bigger straps. As you can see, that bag has shifted a little bit. Okay, so we've gotten one bag for the day. Dan had picked up those other two the other day, but we still got three more. However, I have to go and pick Danny up. Uh, he carried the grain cart to the next farm that Dan will be picking, and uh, I guess we'll be trying to get him moved and situated for a bit. And we have arrived to this farm to get Danny. Looks like he put up a hip sabania. Drop Danny off to get Dan's truck. We're gonna move that to where the grain cart is. Looks like we're gonna be waiting for a while, you guys. Ay, yi yi. Oh, we finally made it. <laughs> and I dropped Danny off at the Ford truck. He's gonna go ahead and haul another load of beans for today. And I guess I'm gonna link up with Dan. Alrighty, you guys, so... Oh uh, yeah, I, I said so because I was looking for the header trailer when I was pulling in here. But anyway, yeah, here's where Dan is picking and the header trailer is over here. I got to get hooked up to the header trailer because I'm going to pull the trailer to the next farm when he gets done. Dan's going to take the combine and then I'll come and bring Dan back to the international truck there so he can have that over where he's picking. And then uh, Dan will be finished using me <laughs> but anyway we're gonna get hooked up to the trailer let me get out and see which way this tongue is facing okay i need to get over i need to get over and we got it you guys uh he uh he's almost full over there will he get all of it on there i don't know and it looks like he got it all, you guys. He's coming. Frank is coming. <laughs> He's gonna get it unloaded. Yeah, we way off in the distance. I told y'all yesterday about that bean dust. It just gets everywhere. And that's going to do it. Mm, let the auger in. Okay. Got a few ant hills there. All right, he's gonna get unhooked, you guys. of a glare on this side. That's it. Got it strapped down and we're heading on to the next farm, you guys. Bouncy, bouncy down this dirt road. And we have arrived, you guys. Yeah. Bumpity bump. I gotta get the tractor and truck moved out of the way for the ultimate header hookup. <laughs> I think that'll do you guys. Gotta get the uh, straps undone here. And he's not too long behind me. And once again, he'll get hooked up. 
And once he hooks up this time, he'll have plenty to pick without having to unhook again. Oh, look at there. Oh, he did that like a pro, you guys. <laughs> he did that like a pro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't believe I got the trailer backed up this far. <laughs> I cannot back this thing up, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got a laugh at myself. And he is stirring up some dust. Gonna pick out a little place there. <laughs> all right you guys now's a good time to open up this phone case this new phone case i got and uh i was telling you guys about how the scratch is like right on the lens on this cover here so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and put the new one on here okay so i don't have time to put it on now <laughs> uh i'm gonna pull the trailer down here where he got it picked out at and unhook from it and then uh i carry him to get the international truck uh, so we'll leave it right here where he's got it picked out at that was easy to turn around and just drop it instead of trying to <laughs> trying to bag it up man this trail is hard to back up you guys <laughs> he said that the bushes are still green over here as well so it's going to be slow picking you guys and we're back at the international and he's going to take it to where he's picking at Checking out the tires. Ah, oh, what is that? Uh... That looked like a trailer. <laughs> what was that? Monday or Tuesday? There was a house, and that was the trailer. So we uh, we're seeing quite a bit of moving on this road here. All right, you guys. So we're back at the shop. I'm gonna hook back up to this trailer, and while I take lunch, I will get another bolt bag of the seed and oh i forgot uh i got a kitty i hear you where are you kente kente hi hi kente don't run don't run kente don't run hi hi <laughs> oh bashful she stays down here but anyway yeah I gotta put the ball back on this hitch and uh, hook up to this trailer. I'm gonna take lunch and while I'm out, I'm gonna get another bag of seed there. Oh, y'all must have knew I was about to give you something. Or well, y'all heard the door creaking, huh? Hi, baby. Oh, look at that. She come running up. She's always gonna be on the scene. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Let's call the other ones. Kitties and babies. Babies and kitties. I'm gonna wait for the others to come, okay? I just saw the black, I just saw your sister. I saw your sister and your aunt. Kitties and babies, babies and kitties. And it's windy out here. Oh, there's a baby. Hi, baby. Where's your almost twin at? <laughs> All right, I'm about to uh, go ahead and get this bag opened up. I can't do it with one hand though. Uh-oh, here comes aunt. Here comes aunt. Hi, we just saw you down the hill. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you all. Hey, say hello. Say hello. What's up, buddy? You gonna hit butt too? What's up, buddy? <laughs> so many cat. Hey, aunt, don't be acting like that. Okay, let me get this food out of here. I guess the third baby's just gonna have to miss out, huh? Well, you kitties and babies, y'all enjoy, okay? I gotta go get me something to eat as well, all right? I almost was about to forget to get the big ratchet strap, you guys, we got it. I've seen quite a few cotton trucks. That's the truck that hauls the cotton bales to the gin. And uh, I gotta get some def. So I'm gonna go right down the road to where they haul the cotton at and we'll look at the cotton right quick before I pick up that def. Should be coming up on it, yep. They got the round bales and the square modules out there. It's usually more than that, but. I'm sure you won't mind if I turn around in here. <laughs> usually be a yard full of it. It's quite a bit of 
quite a bit of it though. And there's a glare so you can't see much. Rolling back out of here. They got it lined up. Those are the square ones. All right. Yep, got the diff, that's that. Got my sub and cookies and uh, now we gotta go and get another bulk bag of seed, you guys. Just like the city is putting up some Christmas lights over there, you guys. Oh, Lawrence is a mess. <laughs> he said, you brought that same old sorry trail up here again. <laughs> I said, yeah, one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> I gotta have a bite before he comes over here with that forklift. I'm hungry. Oh, wait a minute. It's, oh, no wonder I'm hungry. It's 2.30, you guys. Man. <laughs> Let's eat. Oh, man, he got over here too quick. I'm still stuff in my face. Gotta get the tailgate off. <laughs> Getting loaded up. Man, I'm ready to eat some more of that sub, you guys. All right, we got it strapped down, ready to ride. But I'm about to eat some more of my sub, you guys, before I go anywhere. Mmm, <laughs> my lovely macadamia. Well, that's good, you guys. All right, now we can go. Mmm. <laughs> well, we've made it back, you guys. And uh, once again, we got to get unloaded. Ooh, that was loud, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, and we're done with that, that quick. Oh, off to get another bag, you guys. We burning the road up today, you guys. So we've made it back and it's 3.39. Uh, get the tailgate off. Number three. Oh, I'm tripping. What am I tripping on? Uh. How to do it? And we got her ready to go. So we've made it back, and it is 4:07. He closes at five. So I'm thinking we can maybe get another load if he don't try and close early on us. <sighs> all right, all right. We on the move. We on the move. I didn't even turn the truck off. Looks like somebody's picking beans way over there with a John Deere. They're hiding behind the bush. And I can't keep still, huh? I can't keep still. Anyway, we're getting back on the road. Well, we're already on the road, aren't we? All right, we have made it back and it is 429. Yes, he's still here. I missed the last time I was talking junk to him. I said, listen, I need a Friday special. I want you to load up one bag in the back of your truck and I'll haul one on the trailer here. <laughs> I told Lawrence that. He said, he acted like he couldn't hear me, but he heard me. <laughs> There's a train, you guys, and it is loud. I missed the beginning of it. He comes with the pallet. Get it from this angle this time. <laughs> How to do it. That's actually the second train that I've seen today while over here. But anyway, let me continue putting this on. Alrighty, you guys. And we are gonna take off now. Alright, you guys, so it's 5.05 now. As you can see, the sun is going down. And I'm definitely about to get ready and wrap this video on up. Y'all know the procedure once I get out of the truck. Y'all know it very well. We've repeated it time after time today. Where are my gloves at? Oh, get my gloves over here. 
Ooh, and it's dusty out here. Yeah, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. I hope that if you enjoy watching that you smash the like button. Yes, yes, yes. And if you enjoy a lot, a lot, a lot, if you really enjoy, you know what I always say. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button <laughs> and the notification bell so that you know whenever we get a video. I believe YouTube be slacking though. They don't be notifying you guys when I be posting videos, man. But anyway, I'm not gonna go off on YouTube right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna jump on their backs right now. But they do need to tighten up. But anyway, <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>